Oh, good morning. Ned English here uh, on my YouTube channel, as I try to do every day. I've been out for a few days, but I'm back now. Um, I was just going to dive into this piece and uh, start singing, but I uh, I realize there's just a lot to be said about it. So I'm going to talk for a minute and maybe edit this out later. But it will be there for anybody who might be interested in the history of this piece. Um, this song comes from a long time ago, about maybe, oh gosh, 30 years ago maybe. And I was uh, cast in a show called Long Road Home. It was being uh, performed at the Roadhouse Theater in, uh, in Manhattan, uh, Ralph Broadway. And it was written by the immortal Miss Kathy Summer and Barry Harmon, um, two of my gods of musical theater, with Harb Bruns, Harb Rustin, Mr. Brothers Ten, um, as a producer. And he also legendary in that field. Most importantly, I must dedicate this piece, which comes from Long Road Home, to um, somebody who I'm just so privileged to have had the chance to work with a couple of times. Um, I still stand in awe. And I remember I used to, I used to cover this song a long time ago when I was playing in clubs and stuff. And it was always fun. I always enjoyed it. I mean, I dug the song immediately when I heard it because uh, then I said, God damn, I got to sing that. So it came up this week because of some romantic uh, adventures I've been having. And so I wrote Kathy. Uh, I found her email and I wrote her and said, look, I really want to cut your song. I love it. I always have. And um, I, uh, I want to. Yeah, I need the lyrics, so I don't remember them. And I don't feel, honestly, like it's my place. Although I usually won't hesitate to do this, I don't feel it's my place to rewrite the lyrics. I won't do the original ones. But, as usual, things did not work out according to what I had hoped. Um, firstly, Kathy never got back to me, which surprised me a little bit. My God, if I had a piece like that, especially one as good as this, that merits it, uh, I would certainly jump at the chance to have somebody cut it. But it doesn't matter. I mean, for whatever reason, who knows? Maybe the email was no good. I don't really goddamn know. I still love Kathy. I still love Barry. And I still love Harv. And I will always be grateful that I had the chance to work with them because they taught me a shitload about music and musical theater. So, um, but Patty. Patty was very special. She just had a way and an energy about her. I mean, she'd start singing and her hand would move in this way that she did. And it just was spellbinding upon an audience to work on. I mean, I'm surprised she had a great career as a background singer because she would attract so much attention. I can't imagine how that the star would tolerate having her in the group. But I suppose she was, you know, could tone that down when she needed to. But anyway, so what I'm trying to do here today, in my own interpretation, as always, and I started to look at the lyric, and I did rewrite it extensively, of course. Um, um, a little bit in the first verse. I think the second verse is almost totally me. And the chorus, the second half is just a kind of improvised. Uh, that's what came out the first time I tried playing it. So, I guess that's all I need really to say about it. I really did dig working with Patty and um, it was one of the great experiences of my career, without a doubt. And we did it a few times. I remember we used to work this uh, show called Sunday Night Sessions that they used to have over in, uh, oh, it was over on this club that was at 42nd Street, um, over by West Tracks in the West Side, 10th Avenue or so. And uh, it was a thing put on, I think it was by Artist Services, which was the old commercial jingle singers uh, answering service that I'm sure does not exist anymore, probably. Um, but uh, at least not in the form that it did anyway. Uh, but, uh, I think the Roadhouse gig, because it lasted about a week or so, and, um, really was a more po powerful influence on me. So, <coughs> I'll be honest, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to channel Patty, because she's been gone for quite some time now, and... The world is definitely a place that misses her, whether it knows it or not. She was just an angel of light, I think, uh, in music. 
so I'm going to try to do her justice, and also Kathy, Barry, and Harv, Mr. Brothers Ten. Oh God, like I say, it never goes where you want, and I got a tune, of course, right? seen it and you're an acoustic guitar player I recommend you watch my video on I made an instructional video on how to tune your guitar without um, tuning aids like a strobe tuner or whatever you have you know um, and you always have it perfectly in tune better than you can do it with one of those things so if you're wondering what I'm doing here that's my method that I've invented for guitar tuning to that it's just one of the banks harassing me I'm engaged in a terrific war with my local bank which is going to result in litigation without doubt but um, I'm not going to talk about that this morning but I'm just I get harassed all day long with these calls from banks because of what my local bank is doing and essentially what they're doing is telling me I can't have my own fucking money it's their money not mine um, so we're gonna find out about that Suddenly strikes me, I wonder if Patty was a smoker because she had a certain gravel to her voice. Which was, um, what gave it its edge, I guess. And it reminds me a bit. I'm not picking up. It reminds me a bit. I used to go out with uh, another background singer, Chrissy Faith, and that's who I met um, so many people in the music business from, uh, through. And uh, Patty Darcy was certainly one of those. And Chrissy also, she had no distortion in her voice at all, mostly, but she had a little bit of an edge that she could call up when she needed to in a professional situation. And that was because she too smoked a bit, but only a little bit. She used to, we would travel and she'd have one in the hotel room and sneak one in there, you know, at night. And uh, of course we used to smoke herb together all the time, but... Um, <laughs> She wasn't good much good for hanging around, but mm, that girl could sing. And so could Miss Darcy. I am going to look at the lyrics while I do this. And I'll probably leave this version up for all you historical types out there who are interested in such things. And then I will do one of my new edited videos with, you know, credits to kind of explain all this shit um, without subjecting you to the uh, rap, you know? No, this should be slower with a bit more feeling to it. I think um, it's more of an emotional... Uh... Oh, it's one of those pieces that you just want to tug at your heart and kind of make you cry and give you that big lump in your throat. <laughs> anyway, here we go.
turn in my head with your dream Let me know that I can take this line again When you like to do that place, I'll never be again Feeling lost like a drifter in the streets I can't escape the past To a place that lasts But what word is that I hear As you walk on With a song I never heard And suddenly Without apology I must obey Your every word Take me to that